Hey you guys, happy Sunday, happy Mother's Day. So I wanted to get on and just share some insightful tips with Shireen. And basically, I wanted to just be super transparent and incredibly real with you guys, right? So I'm a mama of three currently. And um, you know, so many of us moms, whether they're your biological children, your stepchildren, your fostering, Maybe you're an auntie and took someone in. Maybe you're just like the neighborhood mom, right? Like, gosh, let's be honest with that. As expensive as it is, like so many people are just not home, not able to raise their families maybe the way that they want to. And so some people really just kind of step in and fill that gap. And, you know, we're just, we're so grateful for people with those kind of hearts. Like, thank you so much. From one mom to another, basically, you know, just... It really is a huge blessing to have a village um, of love and authenticity for your tribe. And I'm just super grateful for people like that who don't even hesitate, who don't even think about it. Um, but anyways, that's not what I was going to talk to you guys about. For those of us mamas who are like, I'm working so hard. And you know what? It doesn't have to be that you're working, working, like clocking in somewhere. Being a mom is a tough job. It is a 24 7 exhausting job because it's something that we don't get a break from we don't go to the bathroom by ourselves we don't get to eat warm food <laughs> um, when things are great you're still stressing and worrying about you know um, what things are gonna be like tomorrow and how school how's friends even if your kids are grown how's their marriage how is their parenting how are things going in their home how you know what I mean like there's always something to be worried about why because we freaking love them like we love our kids so much I mean there's something so special about having that kind of connection with your child I mean I don't know I just I'm so incredibly grateful to be a mom and I have so much love for my children as I know my mom does for me and you know, my mother-in-law does for her kids. I just, I mean, just about every mom I know, it's like you do, you have this connection with your children. And, um, regardless if on the toughest days you, I mean, those are your babies, no matter what, no matter how old they are, no matter what they're going through, no matter how they act sometimes. Um, and even sometimes in tough love, it's so hard, but you do the do because you love them and you want the best for them. All that to say, if you are sitting there on Mother's Day and thinking, man, this is not how I wanted it to go. This is where I really wanted you guys to watch. If this is not going how you want it to go, I'm, let's just start a new trend. Like, right, moms, let's be honest. We run everything in the house anyway, right? We schedule everything. We make sure that everything gets done. We need to just start scheduling our days too, okay? So I was thinking about that and I was like, you know what? I don't have to be sad. I don't have to be mad. I don't have to be in relationships I don't want to. I don't have to as an adult right like life is so short you guys we have um the, we have choices to make we have choices we do not have to settle and so i really just wanted to get on here and tell you guys like if you're feeling it any way like man this day did not go as they planned or even for your birthday if this is not going according to plan let's just decide to plan that bad boy ourselves straight up right if i know i want to be on a cruise next year for my birthday or for mother's day i'm gonna make it happen if I want to be in Italy like I wanted to be for my 30th birthday, guess what? I'm going to make it happen. We need to stop waiting for everybody else to do everything for us, right? Like sometimes it would be nice to, you know, we put those thoughts and ideas out there for 10 years and you're kind of hoping someone would catch the hint and maybe make it happen. Um, but you know what? They just might not. And so instead of being mad about it, instead of being sad, plan that bad boy yourself straight up because that's what I'm going to do next time. I'm just saying right our kids they don't know the difference they're so little they can't do nothing it's not their money <laughs> um maybe our adult kids maybe they never caught on right because if it hadn't been happening their whole childhood they don't know what to do either um you know sometimes our men they are just absolutely clueless it doesn't matter how many hints you drop so i mean this with all love and due respect i'm gonna stop putting out ideas and options and i'm gonna plan it myself because when it's other people's birthdays or other people's events or special days guess what i go all out i think about it i want to make sure that they're super special that they feel special that they feel so loved and you know what that's okay i know that they love us i know they do but maybe they just don't you know what i mean like if you have a certain perception of what you want it to look like let's stop waiting for everybody else and let's just make it happen ladies because you know we make it happen every day all day anyway so why, why change it on Mother's Day? <laughs> so who's with me? Send me a comment in the pic below. Um, you know, are you planning your Mother's Day next year? What's it going to be like? What are you going to do? I think I'm going to go on a cruise. 
Have a great day, you guys. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much for everyone just holding it down in the mama spot. You're amazing. Even the dads who are holding it down in the mom spot, amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome, and I know our babies appreciate it. I know that, you know, that we're only making the world a better place by doing it. So kudos, kudos, kudos. Awesome job. Um, and again, I can't wait to hear. What are you doing next year? Ha, ha, ha.